episode two of Plants with Audrey. Today we are going to check out my three favorite plants for the largest gecko in the world, Rachidactylus lychianus, also known as lychee geckos. And they are very challenging to put into bioactive enclosures just because they're very big, they are very heavy, and they have very sharp nails. I guess I should introduce Magnolia here. This is Magnolia. She is our shop pup here at Lick Your Eyeballs, also my BFF. Back to lychees. So finding plants for lychees can be pretty challenging because they're very heavy and they have very sharp little tiny nails that just kind of rip through plants. So my favorite plants for lychees are bromeliads. Let's start with bromeliads. Bromeliads have thick leaves. They've got really thick leaves that can support the weight of a lychee and the nails of a lychee. And they provide, you know, some spots for the animals to actually hang out. And bromeliads come in all different shapes and sizes and colors, and some of them have little points along the edges. These do. These are serrated along the edges. This one specifically does. And they all look totally different. Here's another one. This is a smaller one, and it has very, very small serrations on the edge, and it's shooting off a pup. This is how bromeliads reproduce. They produce pups. I'm gonna shoot them off the side there. This is one of my favorite bromeliads. This is a ribbon bromeliad and it has little dark speckles all through the base. And when I when these arrive and they've been in the box for a couple days, they shrivel up, but once they're watered, they really perk back up and they grow really surprisingly quickly. This one would be a little bit too thin, too wobbly for a lychee. You're definitely gonna wanna go with a bigger type of bromeliad for the lychee that can support that weight, like this one. I'm obsessed with these. The base is black and then they've got the red tips. And look at all these pups shooting out here. This one has like four pups shooting off, which is amazing. So I bought a few for myself and I put a couple on the website for this weekend. Really amazing bromeliads. Another type of bromeliad is the air plant, Talantias. And I love using Talantias in lychee cages because they can handle it. And we have some pretty big Talantias. This is one of my favorite large Talantias that we have here. This is a Talantia streptophylla and they start to turn a purple in the center as they get ready to bloom. And you can see they do get pretty large, so can handle a lychee's weight. And they also need kind of the same requirements as a lychee. Assuming you're putting like a white light or a UV light on the lychee enclosure, if you have it with no light and it's dark in there, the Talantias might not do as well. So this is a new one for us. This is Talantia Solariana, and they are huge. Check this out. I mean, it's the size of my hand. I saw these and I couldn't resist to get a few. So we have a few of these available right now, and these would work really well in a lychee cage. Talantias, like bromeliads, grow by pupping. You know, they, they reproduce by producing more, and that's what we have here. This is a clump and started off with one, it's shooting off its little offspring, grows a clump, and these clumps actually work really well in lychee enclosures too, because the lychee kind of just moves over them, and they're actually very surprisingly soft, even though they look pretty pokey. I grow clumps of small Talantias in my lychee enclosure as well. My third plant on the list is actually my very favorite plant for lychees. This is an aglonema, and there's a lot of different color variations and leaf sizes of aglonemas. This has a smaller leaf. There's some that have a much bigger leaf, like these. These have very large leaves. Aglonemas also come in a variety of colors and patterns and leaf shapes. Aglonemas are one of the few plants that have been able to survive and actually thrive in my lychees enclosure. They can handle the lychees movement. They can, you know, they just pop right back up. It doesn't break their stems. They are very tolerant of all sorts of different light conditions. Aglonemas can take it pretty dark to bright light. So it doesn't matter what your lighting is in your enclosure for aglonemas because they're so tolerant of different lights and humidities. 
So that sums up my three favorite plants for lychee enclosures. Lychees are really hard to put live plants in. What plants have you found that work well in lychee enclosures? Let me know in the chat. See you guys later.